Hello. Nomad Sculpt, very useful brush tool settings. Okay, let's go to the Nomad app. First, I show you some things, um, what you can do with your brush settings. Um, okay. This is a adjusted brush and it I called it round all. And I show you later how to do uh, this brushes. Um, okay. And this brush, when you, uh, sorry, I activate this mesh, um, it rounds every, ob uh, every uh, edge of the object and it's adjustable. Uh, when you uh, reduce the intensity, it makes uh, a smaller radius. And when you make it real high, it does a radius like this. This is one tool. And it works also for a mesh with uh, separate parts. Um, these uh, boxes are uh, combined um, in one mesh, but separate. Um, and when you use here the round all brush, um, it rounds every object for its own and you can uh, lower the intensity and make smaller yes, roundings. Okay, I go back. The next brush is the resize brush. It's also a, a, a normal brush tool with a, a few settings and here it's possible to um, to scale the objects um, and when you uh, on the left side there's a sub function turn it on or off and uh, now you can shrink it and it's also possible in the brush settings there's a button here at the bottom of the menu connected topology turn it on or off and now it works on the complete object and when you, sorry, and now only on one object. And when you, when I go to this one, it resizes the object and sub makes it bigger. Okay. These are two brushes. Um, they are adjusted and okay the video is a little bit um, yes it's uh, explaining and um, and so on but you have to know every brush you adjust when you press on the brush or the tool you can reset reset yes you can um, you can't destroy anything and okay the next thing uh, important thing is in the brushes um, there there are two important things um, i think or more but uh, these are the important uh, parts for this video one is the fall off and there are um, here is a round one, this one um, like a pyramid and the flat one. These three are very important. And let's see, here we got the mask tool and I use this object. And now when you brush here, this is a normal mask. And now let's adjust it. Um, I think the normal mask is like this. So, uh, sorry, I reset it. Um, yes. These are the default settings. I hope. <laughs> okay. Um, now let's go to this one and use grab dynamic radius. And now 
you see it's a blurred thing. And when you now use the gizmo, you see the fall off here. And when you use mask, this fall off, it, this is uh, here, it's absolutely blurred and it's uh, like a gradient. And when you use the gizmo, you see the pyramid appears. And this is very useful. I select this object now and use uh, the mask with the pyramid fall off and the grab dynamic radius. And now when I brush here, I bring in a blurred mask. And when I use now the gizmo, I can do things like this with my hand. I brush again. A little bit bigger. You see what your uh, the bones of the hand does? Okay. This is the mask and the adjustments for the mask. Um, okay, I reset everything back to normal. Cell mask, there's nothing to do. These brushes are adjusted brushes. Um, the trim tool and the project tool, there's nothing to do. Um, the move tool, When you use for the move tool grab dynamic radius, um, you can, yes, here move your objects like this. And when you use a um, flat fall off, you can, um, yes, drag your uh, objects um, here and, yes, test it what happens. For the drag, um, sorry, I have to reset. Drag, grab dynamic radius. Um, let's use a flat one. It also, uh, it's the same. Um, you can play around with the settings a little bit, but I show you the most, most important um, brushes to adjust. The clay brush is also not so important, crease, Okay, let's test the crease brush. Yeah, it squeezes the object. And there's also at the left side the sub function. But it uh, doesn't work. Yes, like this. Split, inflate. Inflate is very interesting. Um, I use it. Um, when you use the inflate brush with a um, grab dynamic radius, um, you can do things like this. Um, this is when the setting here connected topology is very important. When you do it uh, for um, one bone, it works like this. And you can here adjust every bone with the grab dynamic radius and the inflate brush. And when you want to adjust the whole mesh, turn connected topology off and adjust it like this. Only one brush stroke and a lot of happens. Okay. And there's also the sub, uh, function for this. You can turn on the sub 
and then you can shrink your mesh um, and use uh, always uh, the intensity slider um, to make things um, when you turn off the sub and now you can um, adjust it very precise what happens to your mesh okay reset brush tool is it's not so important the smooth function the smooth function uh, the smooth tool not the function uh, the smooth tool is the round all brush you can use um, um, the tool and clone it and rename it round all or your own name um, and here there's a new tool at the bottom and change it to um, a flat fall off and the grab dynamic radius and connect it topology on off um, let's test it on this mesh only one and when the whole mesh uh, should work like this and now when you're fine with your settings save it yes then you got your brush your new your new brush tool i don't need it anymore because i have it remove yes um, where is it smooth reset yes okay now it's default airbrush is, is our own one smudge I don't know what smudge uh, does when we change it um, no there's no grab dynamic radius paint you can test it the flattened brush um, yes it does also um, things uh, with a grab dynamic radius but not so important the pinch tool is uh, the resize brush uh, you can clone it oh sorry not remove rename and re re re, re size resize and in the brush settings use the flat fall off grab dynamic radius and and sub tool makes it smaller and bigger and yes brush always till the the process is complete um, okay I hope you understand what I mean um, that's a resize brush you can remove uh, I remove it um, this is a pinch notch uh, there's nothing stamp layer no yes I think this are all the the brush brushes you can adjust um, to get cool results <laughs> yes and you can the pressure I set it always uh, to um, yes uh, flat um, because they yes when you work uh, sculpting brushes or uh, you can use pressure but for this adjustment um, I don't use the pressure okay I hope you can use it have fun with sculpting ciao